Berserk vs. Zerg especially. But, spawning in the top right corner of Daybreak, guys. In the finals for Zotac Cup, North America. 100 bucks on the line, it is Revival. And spawning in the bottom left-hand corner, it is the Pink Zerg. It is Ghost Do style. <laughs> I don't know how I had made this connection before, but... Uh, being that it's North America, you could say Revival goes west. Oh, God. <laughs> well, Thanks, Riffles. I needed that. There's three stages to ZVZ, as we've discussed multiple times in the past. We'll see uh, if this kind of skips phase one. You know, Zergling Bailing goes to Roach, Infester, or if uh, we'll have some weird phase 2.5 again come out of Ghost Style that uh, cuts out any form of late game units in the late game and just goes straight to Ultralisks. We'll see. Eh, yeah, Ultralisks are pretty good. Let's build some of those. That's really cool. Is like when you're Zerg, you can do some weird cheese to your opponent as Zerg that's not available in other matchup situations. For those who don't know, of course, the hatchery cannot actually see the top and the bottom of its creep without the aid of an overlord. So you can build a spine crawler actually, like right here, do a weird 10 pool rush, and uh, you can really catch your opponent off guard. Yeah, that's quite true, and we don't see any of that coming out from either of these players. Looks like both of them are going to be going for hatch first. So some economics from these guys. Will we see gas before pool with either of them? We might uh, be seeing that from Gosu style. Actually, we might be seeing that from both. As I was going to say, 16 drones. Revival, Maybe. as good as he is, he plays a lot more standard, I feel, than, than off the wall. And Gosu style, from what we've seen today, kind of the complete opposite. <laughs> nah, I lied. We got pools from both of them before gas. But gas does come down very early for Gosu style. Yeah, it means he'll have an advantage in Zergling speed, even if it's by only 10 seconds. That 10 seconds can make a difference, assuming they saturate their geysers and hit that M button on their spawn pool as soon as they have 100 gas. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is like that point of the stage where, like, I'm pretty sure every time it's a ZVZ matchup, you hear Tasteless and Artosis start talking about their day or Game of Thrones or something, because it yep. is about that five minute mark when when the Zerg will move out, but until then, it's like, drone up, get a queen, drone up, get more queens, get more drones. <laughs> Pretty much. That's generally how it is with Zerg versus Zerg, and, um... Yeah, so, uh... I want I want to see... Actually, this is actually relevant. I do want to see okay. Ghost style go for that early armor again. I think that worked out really well for him today. And, uh, I mean, he could put it to use again against Revival. Early armor in Zerg versus Zerg is pretty good. And we do see the metabolic boost, and they're both on top of it, so Gosu style is going to be slightly ahead by about 10 seconds. You know, Queen counts about the same, just one out a little earlier than the other. But again, this is kind of like, we're just waiting. Because what's going to happen in every Zerg versus Zerg, there's the Evolution Chamber. Beautiful Gosu style. But every Zerg versus Zerg... You know, there's just drones to a point. There's rarely, if ever, any Zerglings out on the field early. And then, bam, it'll be like 20 Zerglings in production. Bam, 18 Zerglings in production. And we do see that um, evolution, or not the evolution chamber, sorry, the um, Baneling Nest coming out of Revival really quick. So if he does go for a t quick two-base Baneling attack, that will cause some damage before the armor upgrade has kicked in for Gosu style. And he's starting that right now. No Baneling Nest or Roach Warren in sight. Well, I mean, his control of his Zerglings is actually very phenomenal, and I don't think a bunch of Banelings would actually shut him down entirely with or without the uh, armor upgrade. He's just got the good control. It but yeah, yeah you're absolutely goes. right. It, it won't, but it it will put pressure on him and may inflict a lot of damage. And uh, Zerglings starting to move out across the field for Revival. Ghost is also producing his own Zerglings right now. I think he's got the timings of this stuff down pat, though. I mean, like, it's just perfect. Now, oh, he's just barely going to miss this, and he doesn't have enough at home to defend right now, especially without a Bane Lang. That's the thing. When you're against a Korean, like, Revival, like, these guys have their timings down really, really well. He only just barely missed that, too. If he had left his own base, like, a second, if, if that, later, he would have sought all this. He would not have lost the Queen. 
He hasn't lost too many workers though, so I mean, not that big of a deal. Just the queen. That does That's hurt larva. damage. Yeah, it hurts larva production. And we see a much quicker layer coming out of revival. It's just about to finish, so we'll see the next phase of his game. We do see four gases, so it could be either infestors or mutalisks, but I feel we will see some type of tier two tech out of him. And uh, goes to style, go for that range alongside the armor. Banelings are trying to catch up, but these zerglings are a little too fast. They should be able to hit up a couple zerglings and or uh, workers and get out. A lot of them. Oh, going straight for the queen. Will the banelings get their time? It's going to be close. And it does save the gets, queen. Saves the queen. God save the queen. Well, that plus one armor, if that plus one armor was still there, might have been able to get that queen. But uh, it's only just kicking in any second now. Yep, Revival's going for his missile attacks. There's the infestation pit, so we'll see Roach and Fester out of him. Pretty standard. What will Gosu's style do? His lair is just finishing up, and we do see Roaches with upgrades. Yeah, the tech's going to be a nice advantage, but the blanket AoE damage that Fungal provides is just... You can't match that with just upgrades. Ooh, Hydra's coming out of Gosu style. Okay. Interesting choice, especially because his, his Roach count is not that high right now. In fact, look at the unit counting station. Only has four on the field. And we all know, like, straight Hydra does not beat straight Roach. Of course not. Hydras are kind of like basically Protoss units in the Death Ball that aren't Zealots. And, and when there's no Zealots in front of the Death Ball, then the Death Ball melts, and that's what Hydras are. Yeah, Hydras have, like, crazy crackhead damage, but they don't have a heal. They do not have a health pool. You need the Roaches to protect the Hydralisks. Well, we get some Remember zerglings when... running into the third. He should actually be able to force a cancel or at least a reaction out of Gosu style. We should. You're be... right. And here come the roaches. Will he be able to save it? He might. There, aren't, there aren't that many zerglings. Yeah, this will save no problem. But unfortunately, it's going to be low when it finishes. So revival could come in here later on with the secondary force and finish it off. Yep, and these links just dart into the main, so they're going to get a full scout. These are very effective links. Actually, have seen the Hydra den from that. They might also pick off a drone or two. Yes, kills two drones. It looks like. So awkward, but good. <laughs> Revival the little head on his third. Already has gas on the way. Those are very effective links, and now we see the plus two plus two coming out for Gosu style. We see his group spines coming. And another hatchery just started for him. Uh, yeah, it's in the main base. It's his macro hatch. Yeah, in a straight up engage, Gosu style is going to be very far ahead. However, he lacks infestors, and that's going to hurt really badly, along with Roaches to tank for his Hydras. Yeah, and infestors, they will turn the tide of battle, especially when we start seeing everything in larger numbers than just, you know, four or five infestors, which is what Revival has right now behind his Roaches. However, we do have to point out here that um, Gozu's style is ahead in upgrades, and that's really important. Yeah, the armor is actually going to play a huge deal, especially when dealing with the infested Terrans that come out of these infestors. So, now, I believe, I was actually told this recently, I did not know this, the uh, infested Terrans apparently get plus two per upgrade. So three um, upgrades will give them plus six. Oh, really? I've never... I haven't really clicked on an Infested Terran in a while, just to look at them, because they don't live too long, and there's so many of them. Usually you're focused on something else, but yeah. You focus it depends on, what on how much killing. damage they deal per shot is what it is. If they deal a certain amount of damage per shot, then they get plus two. I think it's... Is it above ten? I don't know offhand, but this hatchery is coming down, but it's gonna... It's risky, and it's gonna be forced to cancel as uh, Revival's gonna show his roaches. He's got a really large count, actually. Thirty-three... Ghost style with. Uh, I don't know if they can keep up with this because the seven infestors. The damage of these is going to be ridiculous. Some of these infestors have a, uh, two fungals on them, like 150 energy on the fresh inf or the first infestors that popped out. And Ghost style actually has a decent concave here, but will it matter? There's some fungals going down on. Fungals all of on Ghost every army. single unit. But there's no infested Terrans, and he needs to get the infested Terrans out. Uh, but I, I my words as I say it, because the fungals. fungal growth is doing so much AoE damage They're that so uh, clumped. Ghost of Style is actually going to cripple a little bit here to the fungals, but he's, unfortunately Revival has lost most of his units. Both ways are remaxing, but Ghost of Style remaxing on Hydras, not Roaches. And I don't like are very that squishy. Decision. They're very squishy and they're very susceptible to fungals. 
And the infestors still have quite a bit of energy. They have enough juice for another oh, good revival. few fungals. Revival. Oh, I like that. He's burrowing. Let's look at this. The infested Terrans only... They deal 10 damage a shot, so no, I believe they only get plus one. Well, whatever the case is, the Hydralisks are grouped. They are clumped. And there are still fungals to go out. If you can catch these Hydras... And look at those fungals landing on all of the Hydras. Transfuse is even going down on the Hydras. Here come more infested Terrans popping out for Revival. The Hydras are doing insane damage, actually, but... I mean, Revival's... Roaches are just pushing up, and this is again, Ghost Style has the upgrades 2 2 advantage over 2 0. But I mean, yeah, Hydras are so they're so much more expensive to lose than Roaches. Yeah, I think Revival can just break him, honestly. And there GG. it is, GG. 